Earlier in your algebraic careers, you learned how to multiply polynomials. So for example, if we had x plus two times four x plus five, we learned that this is the same thing as really doing the distributive property twice, but you can multiply x times four x to get four x squared. You can multiply x times five to get five x. You can multiply two times four x to get eight x, and you can multiply two times five to get 10. If what I just did looks foreign to you, I encourage you to review multiplying binomials on Khan Academy. But then this could be simplified as being 4x squared plus 13x plus 10. What we will now do as we advance our algebraic careers is to think about how do we go the other way around? How do we divide polynomials? So for example, we might see an expression like this. 4x squared plus 13x plus 10 divided by x plus 2. Now, you might already know from your knowledge of multiplication and division that this is really reversing what we just did up here. That if x plus 2 times 4x plus 5 is equal to this business, then this business divided by x plus 2 should be equal to 4x plus 5. And even if you didn't have this information that we have up here, there's ways that you would have approached this. One way is that you could have tried to factor what we have here in the numerator. You could have said, hey, let me maybe factor this by grouping. And let's do that right over here. 4x squared plus 13x plus 10. When you factor by grouping, you say, hey, can I think of two numbers whose product is equal to four times 10? So I say a times b is equal to 40, and whose sum is equal to 13. So a plus b is equal to 13. And let's see what it could be. It could be eight and five. So a is equal to eight, b is equal to five. This is just factoring by grouping right over here. Once again, if this is unfamiliar with, to you, I encourage you to review factoring by grouping on Khan Academy. And so we can break apart this 13x as an 8x and a 5x. So we can rewrite this as 4x squared plus 8x plus 5x plus 10 plus 10. And notice it's just re-undoing what we did up here, but we're assuming that we don't even know about what we did up here, that this, someone just gave us this, this quadratic and said factor it. And then here you can say, all right, for these first two terms, I could factor out a 4x. So it becomes 4x times x plus 2. And then these second two terms, I could factor out a 5, so plus 5 times x plus 2. And then I can factor out an x plus 2. So it becomes, it becomes x plus 2, I'll scroll down a little bit. It becomes x plus 2, I'm just factoring that out, times 4x plus 5, 4x plus 5, which is exactly what we had up there. And so you could rewrite this expression that involves division, sometimes called a rational expression, as, we can rewrite this as, x plus two times four x plus five, all of that over x plus two. And as long as x does not equal negative two, we can divide the numerator and denominator by x plus two, and we're going to be left with four x plus five. And we could constrain it, we could say four, four x not equaling negative two. This is just a little bit of a primer. As we go deeper, we'll do many, many, many examples of this. And we'll also see that there's other techniques other than just factoring this numerator over here. And we're going to do it with higher degree polynomials, third degree polynomials. And we're going to learn something known as polynomial division, where it's going to look an awful lot, and it's actually going to have a lot of similarities, with the long division that you likely learned in probably fourth or fifth grade, where we're going to take expressions like x plus two, and we're going to divide it into 4x squared plus 13x plus 10. And instead of place value, or we'll have our, a new notion of place value, which is around which degree term you're thinking about. So we're going to do things like, and we're going to do these completely in other videos, hey, how many times does x go into 4x squared? Hey, it goes 4x times. So you'd write the 4x there, and then you multiply 4x times x squared, you get 4x squared. 4x times two is 8x, then you subtract these. And then you keep going, just like you would typically do long division. 13x minus 8x is 5x. And then you bring that 10 down. And then you say, hey, how many times does x go into 5x? And you say, hey, it goes five times. 
five times x is equal to five x. Five times two is equal to 10. And then you subtract this and you're left with no remainder. And so notice, you just saw when x plus two is divided into this, you get four x plus five, just what we saw right over there. So we're gonna explore these multiple techniques, including polynomial division, and we're also going to see what happens when you do have a remainder there.